Hi everyone, in this video we will create a health system using the Universal Stats and Attribute System plugin. Uh, first make sure that the plugin is enabled here. And we will create a new folder called Stats and open it. In here uh, we are going to create a free new blueprint class uh, from the Stat class here. The first one is going to be called Health. Uh, I will duplicate it with Ctrl Z. The second one is going to be called Health Max. And the last one, health regen. Okay, we can open health and we will override the function get in its settings. So this is where you can fill in the settings of your stats. The stat display name is going to be health. Uh, it's a fellow stat. A fellow stat is a stat that evolves between bonds and has a regen. And a fellow stat doesn't have a multiplier, so the base value is always equal to the final value. The minimum is going to be a flat value of 0. The maximum is going to be a maximum link stat pointing to health max. The regen is going to be a link stat pointing to health regen. And the regen timer is going to be a personal timer of 0 0.1 seconds. Uh, regen value is per second, means it's going to apply the product of the time between ticks and the health regen whenever we apply the regen. Um, Alright, so we can compile and save. Uh, now we will just rename the stat display name of our health max and health regen. So we can open health max and override get in, get in its settings. Sorry, it's going to be called health max, and we can do the same thing for the health regen. Override get in its settings and health regen. So now we just need to create a container for our stats. So this is the stats component class, so create a new blueprint from the stats component class and we'll call it uh, my stats component. We can uh, now go to our character. Uh, so in this case, I'm using the third person uh, template, so it's going to be the third person character. I'm going to open it and uh, add our new stats component, so my stats component. And to our stats component, I'm going to add our three stats, so health, health max, and health regen. Uh, health max is going to start at 100 and health regen at 5. I won't check start at max for our health so we can see our regen in action. Uh, we'll just add a little um, display uh, to see our stats. So. C keyboard, so whenever I press C, I'm gonna create the widget uh, use as debug widget in order to see our stats. The stats component is this one, and I'm just gonna add it to viewport. So now if I compile 7 hit play, now if I press C, uh, we can see our stat values and our regen. Alright. Now what we could do is make our character die whenever our health reaches zero. And we have two easy ways of doing this. The first one would be to use uh, event dispatchers and the second one uh, would be to use event triggers. So we'll create two new custom events. The first one will be death underscore event dispatchers. Uh, just to show you how uh, we can call, de call them. And the second one will be death underscore event Trigger. And we'll just print the screen uh, the name of the event, so death underscore event dispatcher and death underscore event trigger. So for the event dispatcher, we can open our health stats. So go inside your stats folder and open health. Go inside your event graph, type in begin play. So on begin play, uh, on reached minimum, so whenever we reach the minimum value, we'll call this event event on reached minimum. Remember that the minimum is the value uh, we have here, so it's a flat value of zero. So whenever we reach the minimum, uh, we will get our stats component, which is the stats component this stat is in. In this case, it's going to be this one. Then we can get owner to get the actor and we can cast to our character. So 
cast to third person character in this case and we'll just call the event death uh, dispatcher all right now for the second way uh, using event triggers uh, we can go back to our health and if you go back to get in settings you can see you have event triggers here uh, we can drag it and make an array and if we drag this one we have make event trigger and as you can see we have two things we have the range and the effects if we drag the if we drag the range sorry we have a value range or a single value in this case we'll use a single value of zero if we drag uh, the event trigger effects as you can see it asks for an event trigger effect class so we'll just create it uh, so inside your stats folder create a new folder called event triggers and open it and in here I'm going to create a new blueprint class from the event trigger effect uh, class I'm going to call it et as for event trigger underscore death we can open it and here we can override two functions we have event trigger in and event trigger out. Uh, event trigger in uh, whenever we enter the range, uh, the range that we typed here, or event trigger out when we leave the range. So we'll override event trigger in, uh, we'll drag our involved stats and get owner stats component. Do the same thing as for the event dispatchers. Get owner and cast to our third person character. And now we can call the event death underscore event trigger. All right. So we have our two options. And now we'll make a new key to decrease our health. Uh, so modify base value. The actor is self. The stat is health and we'll do minus 50. Uh, we'll go to our stats component and make our health start at maximum. All right. Um, oh, I forgot. Inside your health, uh, we forgot to type in, uh, to put in the event trigger that we created. All right. So, of course, the goal for you is to add your own logic in, instead of the print screen print screen. Uh, you don't need to have the two custom events. Uh, it was just to show you that we have two ways of doing this. So now if we hit play, I press C to show uh, our stats. If I press V multiple times, as you can see, we died and uh, we have our two, uh, two different events uh, that show. All right. That's it for this video. Thank you for following it and uh, see you in, in the next one.